Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spock, and I'm here with my review of yeah, Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City, which is a reboot of Resident Evil as a film franchise. Um, scrapping all of the Paul W. Sanderson films uh, for a continuity that uh, is more in line with the act with the actual video game series. Um, hmm. Welcome to Raccoon City itself is set in uh, 1998 and seems to, adapt, by and large, adapt uh, Resident Evil 1 and 2 as well as uh, I would at least some of the later games which would take place in the same time frame. Um, Quick thoughts is a decent adaptation of the first two Resident Evil games, and it actually feels like a Resident Evil game, much more so than the previous films did. So our cast of note, we've got Kaya uh, Scodelario as Claire Redfield, uh, an orphan in Raccoon City who uh, ran away as a child, returning now, 1998, to tell her brother the truth about the Umbrella Corporation. Speaking of said brother, Robbie ML play, plays Chris Redfield, who is Claire's brother and a member of the Raccoon City Police Department Stars team. He's also he's got a thing for uh, fellow Stars member Jill Valentine, who is played by Hannah K John Kamen. She just and she's portrayed as a smart mouth member of the Stars team. Uh, seems to be uh, involved or involved adjacent or adjacent to involved with uh, stars uh, leader Albert Wesker um, we got Neil McDonough as uh, Dr. Birkin an umbrella scientist living in uh, Raccoon City used from the orphanage and uh, creator of the G-Virus Tom Hopper as Albert Wesker the aforementioned leader of the stars team Donald Logue as Chief uh, Brian Irons Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department um, it's Donald Logue's standard cop role, cop performance, basically. If you, if you watch Gotham, you've basically seen this performance. Uh, and fi finally, uh, Aaron, uh, I, I hope I don't uh, Johia as, uh, Leon Kennedy, uh, new, uh, recently transferred rookie of the Raccoon Pol City Police Department, who actually has a rather amusing past. So, uh... Some quick, quick talk about the movie itself. Um, by and large, the story takes place in 1998, with um, Raccoon City having been the home of the Umbrella Corporation. But recently, there this this corporation is leaving, and uh, those who can afford to leave basically are. Uh, and little by little, Raccoon or the Umbrella Corporation is pulling all of it, you know, everything out of the town, basically. Um, but, uh, we also have flashbacks to, uh, a point, a point, the point that led to Claire running away from, uh, Raccoon City Orphanage as a child. But, um, begins with her heading, heading back to Raccoon City, you know, having hitched ride on a truck, um, Truck hits hits someone. Who are trying to find the body? Well, gets up and walks away. Um, his Doberman licks up the blood from the body. Starts to go rabid. Yeah, it's one of the dogs, basically. Um, but uh, it turns out that there seems to be something that's affecting all of the uh, most of the remaining townsfolk. Uh, the woman around, around the diner at one point while talking with uh, Leon Kennedy starts to, you know, has blood coming out of her eyes. She kind of says, oh, it's, it does it from time to time. Uh, but so apparently this is fairly common. Um, but uh, the Stars Bravo team gets called to a uh, disturbance at, uh, at a mansion on the outskirts of town. The founder of the, the mansion belonging to the founder of the Umbrella Corporation. But uh, no one hears back from him, so the office team goes to check it out. Um, of course, 
it's the zombie opera. It, it's the it's the viral outbreak. Um, but uh, word has gotten to Wesker that the town will be destroyed at six a.m. the following morning. But uh, it kind of for the for the, the first. At first, the first act is kind of setting up the various primary characters, and then second act is more about condensing them into two uh, plot lines. You have the stars team, and then you have Claire, Leon, and uh, the chief, and then you have the two uh, groups coming together for the f for the finale, um, and it, it it's very clearly setting up a more game a closer to game accurate uh series if this does well which i don't know hopefully it will hopefully it will but yeah so the ups and downs um it adapts resident evil one and two actually fairly well um the action scenes the fx shots for you know for the most part look fairly well look fairly good um you know it, they they don't it doesn't i don't recall there being any like glaringly bad CG, so that's always a plus. The liquor looked cool. Um, the the dog the, the dog looked pretty good. Uh, the zombie makeup looks good, so, you know. Um, the casting is decent, with Tom Hopper's Wesker actually being kind of a standout. Um, Robbie ML's uh, Chris is, eh, you know, he, he plays the character. Uh, Donald Logue, however, seals every single scene he's in. Doesn't matter who else is in that scene, you know he's in it. Um, and it actually feels like a Resident Evil game. However, it also uses every single zombie trope that, in the book without trying to come up with that. And, and, rather bland and predictable manners. Um, the movie doesn't have a single, like, big scare moment. Like, oh, oh, oh. Um, but, uh, and, yeah, it, it's just, game accuracy is great, but if your movie's be bland, uh, you know, maybe you just don't do it. But, uh, so, final thoughts. It's, though it's a refreshing change from the, for the previous Resident Evil film series, um, it's a, just kind of, it's just a bland, it is a sadly bland zombie movie. That you know does nothing. Does nothing special. It's entertaining, but that's about it. Uh, I got to give it a three out of five. You know, it's kind of meh. You know. But uh, anyway, that's it for now. Um, this week's round of comic book round should be going up tomorrow. Fingers crossed. We've got this week's books, so you know. Next week's. Might oh, might have to be delayed as well till Friday, but we'll see. Um, well, Friday or Saturday. Um, and uh, yeah, there there may be some other things to bring up in the near future. But um, anyway, that's it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off, saying. Live long and rock hard.